what is happening? Uh, wanted to share an awesome mail day. Um, I'm going to tweet the link out here. Brian. Right. Um, there we go. All right. So I just wanted to share this awesome mail day uh, from Brian. And uh, it arrived uh, in the mail today. Okay. So uh, I just wanted to, to open it up. I was going to go Twitter live, but I figured uh, it's just easier for me uh, to just do here in the card room. Zach, what's happening, my man? Um, I've got my post. Man, I need to get on it. You're in your workout. I'm in my card room with a beer. By the way, uh, this is called Muhu from Terrapin Beer. It's a seasonal, which I can typically only find it in February. Uh, it's a it's a chocolate milk stout. So delicious. Uh, they just started distributing on the upper Midwest like a year and a half ago. Um, I first had this beer. Uh, it's from Georgia. It's from, uh, uh, gosh, I can't think of the city. Um, it's from Georgia, Athens, maybe. Um, Terrapin Beer Company. And uh, the first place I ever had it was um, in a, a hotel bar in Montgomery, Alabama. Um, George, what's happening? Getting ready to go uncover the car and slide to work. Uh, drive safely. Uh, drive safely. Um, I think, did, did you tweet uh, at some point about a bunch of snow in Korea? Um, drive safe. Ours is, well, it was melting. Uh, it was cold again today, but I think it's going to warm up. And um, so anyway, so uh, Terrapin beer, it's a chocolate milk stout. I've only found it up here in like February. Um, and I, I should probably go stock up because I only bought uh, just a six pack last week. So um, I had it in a, a hotel bar in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. And so I was, so this was when I went back to school in my late twenties and I was traveling with, yeah, Brad, I'm live. So I bought, the reason I'm live is I got a an amazing mail day. Actually, Brett, by the way, your package came today too. Um, so I got an awesome mail day uh, purchase I made on Twitter. So I wanted to, to do it justice and, and show it off because from like beginning to end, this transaction was like one of the greatest transactions ever from start to finish. Um, so I'll go into that. But I'm drinking this Terrapin Beer Muhu. Um so hotel bar, Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, I was working in the athletics department at Western Illinois University. Prime time. What's up, Matthew? Good morning, Matthew. By the way, uh, your package is coming. Uh, making it worth your wait because I picked up some stuff for you this weekend. And there's some Royals in here. So uh, you're going to have a, a good return mail day coming up this week. Um, so hopefully get that in the mail tomorrow. Um so, uh, so I was, I went back to school late twenties and, uh, I, um, worked in the athletics department. We traveled. So we were playing Alabama state men's basketball and we were in Montgomery and I was poor. Like I, I was poor. I quit my job to go back to school and I was working part-time, like a couple part-time jobs working at the newspaper as a sports reporter. Uh, I got paid, um, a, a small wage at the university um, but I got free education, so <laughs> it all worked out. Um, but I like had to save my pennies and we would get like 10 or $15 in, uh, uh, per diem. So we could, so usually we ate with the team and we still got like a small per diem. Uh, but usually, uh, if we weren't part of the team meal, I would just eat out of like a vending machine and, spend three dollars on some crackers <laughs> and a beef stick and then i'd spend the the other seven on you know beer at the hotel bar so go to the hotel bar uh i see the the tapper 
uh, from Terrapin looked, I'm like, hey, well, that that's a pretty cool tap or what, uh, what beer is that? And they're like, Oh, it's Muhu. It's a seasonal, um, chocolate milk stout. I'm like, Ooh. So he pours me a glass and, and then puts the, the receipt on the table. It was like $10 and 50 cents for a glass of beer. Now I'm on like a, a keystone light budget here. So I'm like, Ooh. Uh, so all my per diem wiped away in a single beer, but let me tell you, it was totally worth it. Um, I would check their website every year to see when they would start distributing. Yeah, Brad, this was in 2012, 2013, $10 and 50 cents for a glass of, of Muhu. Um, so I, I finally gave up in like 2018. I had given up. I had spent six years searching to see when they would start distributing their beer uh, in the upper Midwest, Illinois. I would drive to Iowa. Uh, probably wouldn't drive to Indiana. That's kind of a far drive. But I'd dri definitely drive to, to Illinois, Iowa, Minnesota if they distributed. I walked into uh, my local liquor store, um, and it's kind of – it's a very uh, – I, I hate I, – I don't want to use the word um, – uh, what's the, the word I'm kind of, the, the, the word, uh, Oh, it's, it's on the tip of my tongue. P it starts with a P, uh, t -t 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 -t. but you know, snooty, like it's kind of a snooty craft beer place. So if I'm going in to like check out the new craft beers, I'll go to this place. Cause it's kind of a, it's not a mom, it's a small chain. Uh, but they have like during pretentious, thank you, Zach pretentious. It's a very pretentious uh, establishment at times, uh, depending on who's working. Um, yes, perfect. Thank you, Zach. Um, so I went in there on like a random fr on Fridays during like the summer, they have, uh, local and like regional craft breweries, like offering samples. And so I walked in one Friday after work and it's Terrapin. It's Terrapin with Muhu. Actually, he didn't have Muhu because it was in the summer. It's a winter seasonal. So I talked to him and I was like, I mean, seeing the 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 rep for Terrapin was like meeting Ryan Sandberg. I mean, it was like it was an amazing thing to to see the the Terrapin uh, uh, beer guy. So I, I told him, I'm like, I, I had your beer in 2012 in Alabama. Uh, I love it. He's like, yeah, it doesn't come out until like February, but it'll be here. And I'm like, thank God I've been checking the website like every year. I finally gave up. Um, he did not have any Rhino rookies, but uh, it was uh, it was it was awesome. So that's my that's my beer story. Uh, right side up. So let's get to this mail day. So I bought just kind of on a whim kind of on a whim this priority mailbox uh so brian at brian buff bills had some posts and he was selling some like chrome autos in lots and that's kind of something that i've been like speculating on if i can find a good deal i would uh pick up some bowman chrome autos here and there uh so he had a lot for 40 bucks and it included two cubs there was a there was a Leaf Rookie of Nico Horner and a Robel Garcia, like Triple Threads or Museum Collection. And he only wanted 40 bucks for the lot. I'm like, hey, if this is still available, I'll take it. So uh, we direct message back and forth. And he's like, is there anything else you're looking for? I'm like, well, I've just kind of been, you know, I'm always looking for Cubs, but I'm, I've kind of been speculating on like Chrome Autos and, you know, stuff like that. And he's like, well, hey, I've got, I've got a, here's a, there's a whole bunch, um, you know, I've got these and these and I'm like, oh, sweet. And you know, they're fairly recent the last couple of years gives me a price, which is like more than fair. I thought it was an awesome price. Um, talked back and forth. I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. He's like, perfect. Within an hour, he had them packaged and boxed and shipped <laughs> with tracking. Like, from start to finish, this was like the easiest deal ever. Okay. So then the box comes and I actually tweeted a photo this afternoon. I mean, the wrapping on this. So he had them all touted. 
um, most of them, some of like the, the base, he threw in a ton of extras, um, which is in like uh, team, team bags. It was so top loaded in team bags and then uh, top loaded team bags and then wrapped in bubble wrap <laughs> inside this prior, like the, and it wasn't, you know, I, I'm like, kind of, I'm not a stickler on shipping, but I get annoyed by like the super hard to like, I want it secure, but I don't want to spend like 20 minutes cutting tape and you know, all that like wrapped in bubble wrap is perfect because it keeps it snug and obviously protected. So, uh, the protection was amazing. And then I started digging in and it's like, he, he told me he was going to throw in some extras, but wow. So, uh, so actually, here's right off the bat. There's a Royals Jackson Kowar Cower, uh, first Bowman Chrome Auto. Uh, Will Stewart. This is number to four ninety nine. Uh, Davy Garcia, rookie for the Yankees. That's a Leaf Auto, and this this is number to fifty, numbered seven to fifty. Uh, here's another Royals Hernandez, Carlos Hernandez. This is from two thousand nineteen. Uh, another Chrome Refractor Auto, Jorge Alcala, and that's number to four ninety nine on the refractor. Uh, Ronnie Dawson, Purple First Chrome, number to two fifty. Um, Luis Garcia of the Phillies. I think there's three Luis Garcias right now. Um, there's the Nationals, Phillies, and I think Brad. Does the Rangers have a Luis Garcia also? Uh, Matt Veerling, First Bowman Chrome Auto. So this came out, I, I think there were like 66 autos. Um, so I basically got these for, so if you're just counting the autos, which, and there's a bunch of color, non-auto color and some rookies. Um, I don't know how many cards total, but it's, I think it's under a dollar per card I paid for this. Uh, this is Ezekiel Duran, first Chrome Refractor Auto to $4.99. It's a Yankee, so... Right off the bat, I'm just going to set him aside. Uh, immaculate cons Collection. Immaculate Conception. Uh, Jake Rogers from the Tigers. Rookie Chrome uh, or Rookie uh, Auto Relic. Um, and that's numbered to 99. Uh, this is Nick Nelson. I'm not sure. This is also numbered to 50. Uh, says he was in Trenton. So I'm, I think Trenton is still a Yankees affiliate, maybe. Um, TJ Sikama, I don't know him. That's uh, not numbered. Uh, Isaiah Campbell, this is numbered to 50. Um, so Brad, I was also thinking it's like I've bought so much lately. I, I, I like, I'm totally on page with your okay, I need to stop buying so I can list. Uh, but after I went to that card shop on Saturday and with all the deals, it's like I'm going back. Uh, Dylan Cousins. Is that a rookie? Uh, I don't think it's a rookie, but it's number to 200 from Inception. Uh, Steve Matz, numbered to 299. So he, I think he may have, so his 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 Twitter handle is uh, Brian, B-R-I-A-N, B-U-F-B-I-L-L-S. -S. So Brian Buff Bills. He did message me today. He said he had some more stuff, didn't have any autos left. So if you want to follow him, even reach out, um, see if he has anything else. I'll, I'll, uh, pay it forward and let somebody else get some, some good deals. Nolan Martinez number to two fifty. I'll share. So here's the Nico. This is numbered to 15 numbered out of one five Nico Horner leaf news flash green auto. That was in the initial, this is the, the initial reason why I wanted to buy this was because this was part of a $40 lot. Um, Telmito Augustine, first Chrome Auto, Refractor, and that's numbered uh, to $4.99. This is from 2019. Uh, here's a Royals Gold, Jeffrey Del Rosario. I don't know if he's a top prospect or not, but that's a Gold Auto number to 50. Jeffrey Del Rosario, 2019. Uh, here's a Logan Ice, Cleveland Indians. Uh, another first Bowman Chrome Auto, Joshua Mears from the Padres. And yet another Royal, Brady Singer from Bowman Sterling. 
So that's just that's just a small amount. But wait, there's more. George, here's a cardinal. Paul de Young. Is it de Jong de Young? I've heard it pronounced both ways. Um, I knew somebody in Illinois with the name, and I think they pronounced it de Young, like de Young, but I've heard it also pronounced de Jong. Uh, I don't know if that's Brian or Briam Campusano from the Mets. Uh, Brewers, Corbin Burns. Uh, Brad, it was, uh, and I actually, uh, I tweeted out. So I think I tagged him in my, uh, my, uh, tweet about this video. It's Brian Buff Bills, B R I A N B U F Bills. Uh, here's first Bowman Chrome Auto, Seth Johnson. Um, so if you go to my Twitter, it's the, the most recent tweet and he's in there. Logan Ice, another one. Uh, the, the best name in baseball, Richard Lovelady. Chrome Rookie Auto. Uh, here's another Chrome Rookie Auto. This is Anthony K from the Blue Jays. Uh, another Jorge Alcala. I think I had a Refractor Auto earlier. This is the base Chrome Auto. Uh, this is number 99 from National Treasures. Chance Cisco Auto Relic. Uh, Jordan Sheffield, number to 250. So that's a first purple. Uh, Matt Veerling, purple, number to 250. And some of these guys I don't know. I'm just going to have to look up on uh, on the prospect page. Brandon Belt National Treasures, auto relic to 49. Um, here's a Joe Gray, first Bowman Chrome auto to 499. It's a refractor. Uh, Red Sox checking in. Mike Shawarin, Shawarin. I think I've got another auto of him somewhere. There's a lot of Royals in here. Cameron Gallagher from Select. Uh, number to 150, first chrome of Chad Spanberger, Blue Jays. Uh, Logan Allen chrome auto. Uh, this guy sells pretty well from the Yankees, Anthony Volp. I actually sold a couple cards to somebody named Anthony Volp. Anthony Volp cards. Sterling Sharp, not to be confused with the wide receiver from the Green Bay Packers back in the day. Uh, Matt Cantorino, never heard of him. Um, and that's the one thing I don't like. I love the back of, uh, or I love the, the leaf autos, but I don't like the back because they don't say anything because the back of the autos just say, uh, like this is a leaf auto of whoever's on front. Brendan Malone, don't know him. Um, I went to school with a guy named Josh Wolf. He was not a good baseball player, though. Uh, number to 50 for Josh Wolf. Uh, here's Spencer Howard. He has some, uh, he's a 2021 rookie. This is a 2020 Bowman paper auto. Uh, let's see, but what, there's more. Okay, now we've got a Matt Manning. This is numbered to oh, upside down 250. Tigers, that's uh, paper. Uh, Ahmed Rosario, the 99 rookie auto from uh, Bowman Sterling. Oh, uh, Mojo Refractor, Luke and Baker. Another Ahmed Rosario. Uh, this is from, I don't know if this is Triple Threads or Tribute. Um, Ahmed Rosario. Demus, what's happening? Here's another cardinal number to 50. This is sweet. Look at that gold ink. That is, that is, that's a banger right there. That is a banger. George, that's for you. Travis Demerit, rookie auto relic from uh, Immaculate Collection. Um, and there was a run on Jackson Rutledge. He must have been in a Nationals break. Here's a Leaf Flash. Uh, here's a first chrome auto of Jackson Rutledge. I think there's actually another one uh, a different pile. Here's JJ Goss from the Rays. First Chrome Auto. Brad, I know. That's why I had to go live with this. Riley Adams, Chrome Auto. I messaged him like, dude, this is an amazing, uh, amazing box. Ch Chance Adams, Stadium Club Auto, rookie for the Yankees. 
Uh, here's an Alec Thomas. He sells well from the Diamondbacks. Mojo Auto. Mojo Refractor Auto. Here's the other card that I wanted from the initial lot. Robel Garcia. Um, number to 299, Rookie Auto. Uh, another first Chrome Auto from the Twins. Andrew Bechtold. Um, here's an Angels Rookie from Topps Finest. Matt, Meth, uh, Matt Tace face uh this is another good this is a is it a refractor yeah it's a refractor rookie chrome refractor cole tucker that's a nice card uh here's another royal i think i had another one of him carlos hernandez okay i think i have two more piles um Okay, so these now we're getting. I think I think those are all the autos. Uh, there were a couple. Ah, shoot, I got piles everywhere. A couple Tatis chromes. I think there were actually three. Uh, this is just a Bryce Harper insert. So these are like all the just extras he put in. Top loaded man. The top loaders were about worth what I paid. Uh, this Mike Trout's number to one ninety nine, and he just threw this in as an extra. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Evan White numbered to one twenty five. Um, here's another insert Mike Trout it's a cool card peak performers um, player of the decade what's this from oh that's from 2020 tops Mike Trout uh, another Trout all stars from is that Optic yep Donner's Optic uh, this was a really cool card I didn't, he did not show me this he sent this as an extra an extra a Tatis Museum Collection rookie as an extra. You got Brad, you got to reach out to this guy. He is the bomb. Another Tatis. That's an insert from Chrome. Brad's probably typing to him right now. Seth Johnson, uh, paper blue, numbered to 150. Uh, here's a gold paper Lolo Sanchez, numbered to 50. Uh, there's another Tatis Chrome. Um, Tyler Freeman green numbered to 99. So I think there were a couple poisons, a couple poison mega box refractors, the mojos. Um, here's a Tatis trending insert. Uh, was on first paper, uh, first Bowman paper. How about this Tatis numbered to 499. Um, I'll have to count, but I'm pretty sure my per card cost was under a dollar. Lorenzo Kane purple to 250. Uh, Victor Mesa Jr. first chrome. Gunner Henderson green paper numbered to 99. Uh, oh, this is a first edition. I did not realize that. Chris Vallemont first edition number to 150. Uh, another Victor Mesa Jr. chrome. Uh, Jackson Rutledge. Oh, here's where the Jackson Rutledge run was. Here's another one. These are just the first Bowman Chromes. Another one. And another one. And a Mega Box. And another Victor Mesa Jr. Oh, there was actually four Tatis Chromes. There's another one. And uh, Zach Thompson, Blue Shimmer, number to 150. Um, I think there's one or two piles left. What did I do? Okay. And these. Okay. So then we have just a regular Chrome Rushman. All right. Clip something outside the. Here's a Mega Box Rushman. Uh, Carter Kaiboom. These are just kind of like rookies and in inserts now. Eloy. Um, opening, I think that's opening day. Nope, that's just his bait. That's update rookie debut. Um, here's a chrome Eloy rookie. Oh, here's a Royce Lewis number to 25. Uh, he, I think, tore his ACL or something recently. So that's an orange. And here we've got a Jordan Alvarez rookie of the year favorites insert, uh, 85 insert. Uh, Hunter Bishop numbered to 150. That's a chrome. Uh, Noah Naylor, number to 402 in 
odd numbering. I don't know what that is. That from Bowman Draft, Bowman Draft Chrome. I don't know. Uh, here's another Royal Green, uh, number to ninety nine, Kevin Jackson. It's a Bowman first. Uh, Miguel Cabrera, numbered to ninety nine. You know, surprisingly, veteran Miguel Cabrera sells really well. Uh, here's a C.J. Abrams. He's a top prospect for the Padres, number to one fifty. Um, Joe Ryan, number to four ninety nine. Here's another Royal. Nicky Lopez, numbered to 150. Uh, here's another Tatis. This is from 2020 Tops. Uh, insert, what's what insert is that? I don't know. The FTR, I think. Uh, here's a trout. Oh, shoot, this is a rainbow foil. It's a rainbow foil trout from 2017. Dang. <laughs> Didn't realize that was in there. Nico Horner, rookie. Here's another Nico. Uh, these are, I think, all Cubs. Oh, there's a Miguel Amaya or uh, Jacob Amaya. So here's an Alex Verdugo, Future Stars. Card. Oh, Thomas Hatch, Refractor, number to 490. So he said, he's like, yeah, I'll throw all these Cubs in for you. So, so there's some Aramis Ottoman. That's a Dodger. Uh, Aramis Ottoman, Miguel Amaya, Brennan Davis. Davis, 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 Amaya, Marquez, Adaman, Miguel Amaya, Mojo. Um, okay, and then this is the last. <laughs> yeah, but wait, there's more. Uh, oh, shoot. So these were, these were just like in a in a in a uh, team bag, and these are just like cards he threw in, like. He threw in like all those trouts. Like I didn't even know I was getting them. Like basically what I paid for um, was some autos and some color. That's, that's what I was expecting. Um, the, the total price I paid shipping in, in his PayPal fee. So it was like $167. Um, and basically my expectation was the autos and some of the colors. That was it. And, you know, I was, I was thinking it was good, like my per card cost was going to be like three or four bucks a card. And he ends up throwing all this in and it's all like awesome stuff. Um, so my price per card is like under a dollar. And so th this is like the stack that he throws in, uh, Gavin Lux rookie, um, you know, Alec Baum Bowman paper, uh, Oscar Gonzalez first, uh, how about <laughs> five Jordan Alvarez Bowman rookie cards. <laughs> Just insane. Uh, Vlad Jr. base. Uh, Jeremy Pena, first Bowman. Uh, Trent Grisham, rookie. Glenn Allen Hill, first Bowman. Gus Farland, first Bowman. Carter Kaiboom, first Bowman. Um, Austin Nola, rookie. Or Nick Solak, rookie. Brad's guy. Mauricio Dubon. Uh, Adbert Alzale, my Cubs. Um... Seth Brown, rookie. Brewster Gratterall, rookie. Sean Murphy, rookie. Zach Collins, rookie. Uh, oh, there was a six Jordan Alvarez Bowman rookie in there. Um, and Acuna insert. Um, Yamamoto, rookie. Demerit, Nola. So all that stuff, less than a dollar a card. Um, the autos, what did the auto price come out to? So the autos, so I did the, I, I counted the autos. I think there were 66 autos. So basically my cost per autograph, just the autographs, not including the color, the, the non-auto colors was $2 and 50 cents per card. And <laughs> that doesn't include the trouts and the, uh, colored, uh, parallels than any of the non-autos, just an amazing deal. Um, and not only was it, is it, not only was it an amazing deal on price, his his packaging, his time, his his back and forth was just like I can't compare it. Like I mean, literally. So I'll just I'll just rewind to how this all went down. It all started like on my lunch break on Friday, um, say like one o'clock. I'm going through Twitter and I see he's, he's posted a couple lots and, 
I I see the lot of yeah, there's like 10 autos, including the Robel Garcia and the Nico Horner. I didn't even know the Nico Horner was numbered 15. Um, I just thought it was a base auto and he had 40 bucks on it. I'm like, for four bucks an auto, I'll keep the two Cubs, sell the other eight, and probably make 40 bucks. Um, so I, you know, I I first I I replied, I'm like, hey, I'll take this if it's still available. He sends me a DM. He's like, yeah, it's still available. Is there anything else you're looking for? And at first I'm like, well, not really. But I replied like, I'm, I'm just kind of sh- like nothing specific. I'm just shopping for deals on like Chrome autos and, and stuff like that. Just kind of speculation. Obviously I collect cubs. So, you know, I'll buy low dollar cubs, more quantity on, on the cub stuff. So, okay, he's got, I've got a bunch of, of other autos. Boy, did he ever. Um, So he showed me like a couple pictures of the other autos. And he's like, you know, I was thinking 150. That's, you know, I was thinking a few bucks an auto. That's what I was wanting to pay. And he's like, that's what I'm willing to to sell for. He's like, how about 150? And I'll throw in these cubs and I'll throw in some, just some surprise extras. Um, Like, okay, cool. Um, Deal. Uh, here's, here's the total. What's your PayPal? I'll pay right now. Here's my PayPal. I paid right now. He boxed him up, sent me a picture. He's like, here they are. I'm going to the post office in 30 minutes. He sends me a picture with the tracking like an hour later and dropped it off at the post office Friday afternoon, like less than two hours after we started communication. Um, it arrived on my doorstep today. Um, thankful for the USPS coming through. Um, and I opened it up and it was just like, like the best packaging job ever. Like I'm envious of how well he packaged it because, you know, most everything here was in a top loader, penny sleeve top loader in a team bag wrapped in bubble wrap and stuffed in, uh, I shouldn't say stuffed because it wasn't stuffed and, and placed in the flat rate box and no movement. I open it up easy to, to get open. Like that's another thing. Like, yeah, you can really secure stuff in a box, but at, at what cost for the buyer to like spend 20 minutes with an exacto knife, trying to, to get tape off of, you know, the, the plastic or the, the wrap. Um, so it's super easy to get open. (laughs) And then all the, (laughs) All the extras that he threw, like a Mike Trout rainbow foil is just like, eh, yeah, throw that in. Here's six Jordan Alvarez rookie cards. Here's here's another stack of autos for you. So just amazing. $2.50 per auto, and that doesn't take into account the other stuff. I'll have to do a count and, and do the math. Um, is this considered flexing? Um, yeah, this is my flex. <laughs> All these bangers, George. Um so, uh, Demus, yeah, yeah, his at is, uh, is, uh, Brian Buff Bills. So it's, uh, B R I A N B U F B I L L S. And, uh, yeah, if you look at my Twitter, um, I, I actually showed, there's a picture of my Twitter from, from, uh, opening the, the box up today, uh, that shows like the nicely arranged stacks of top loaders in the bubble wrap. Um, so that's on my Twitter and then uh, I tagged him in that and I tagged him in this video. Uh, my, my latest tweet is a link to this video. Um, and he's tagged in that Brian buff bills, B R I A N B U F B I L L S top notch all the way, start to finish. Uh, one of the easiest, best deals, uh, that I've done on any platform. So, uh, so I think Brad reached out to him. So yeah, he did, he did send me and I'm like, <laughs> I'm more than happy with what I purchased and what I received and I will recommend him to anybody. And, uh, you know, I won't, uh, he said he had some more stuff. He goes, uh, some guy wanted to buy the rest of what I have. I told him to consult with you if you wanted to see if it was worth it. Uh, it was definitely totally absolutely worth it. Um, he said he found plenty more to move, not as many more autos. So, uh, that was my conversation with him today. Um, so yeah, so uh, check check him out and and get some deals. I'll uh, I'll pay it forward by just name dropping him and giving him my two thumbs up. Awesome deal. 
um, just, just an amazing, um, amazing deal. So I wanted to, I didn't think a few tweets would do this justice. Uh, so I wanted to go live. Um, I wanted to go live and, and just show off the, the spoils. Um, Erwin, thanks for joining the chat. Um, not right now. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of stopping trades. Um, I've, I've basically stopped trades. There's a few traders that, that I'll, I'll go back and forth just cause it's, it's super easy. Um, but for the most part, I've just got to stop trades. Um, I've got to focus on sales. I have like 135 eBay shipments to get out. Um, so I'm like super backed up and, uh, it's kind of like a continuing thing. So at some point, uh, I will have, uh, some of the, some of the stuff is earmarked for people. Um, the rest I'll be putting in a eBay store at some point, um, in the next month or so. Uh, right now, a lot of this new stuff that I've bought is, uh, is stuff I'm holding for baseball season. Um, so what I have earmarked, I'll, I'll get sent out and then the rest, um, I'll probably throw in a box and, and try to remember what I have, save it for a rainy day. Um, so that's, that's the plan. So, um, I have like a ton, I haven't even emptied my car out from the weekend. Um, I brought out a few boxes, uh, that's a perk from working from home. And instead of like when I'm at the office, uh, to stretch my legs, you know, take a lap around the building, uh, working at my home office, I can just, my lap is going out to my car and bring, oh, excuse me, bringing down a bunch of boxes from my baseball card, uh, bonanza this past weekend. So I think there's, I probably still have three or four more trips, um, three or more, four more trips, um, to bring down stuff. So, um, I've got that. I've got Brad. Thank you for the package. I have not opened it up. Just got it today. Um, so, so that's where we're at. So, wow, I've gone two nights in a row, like in prime. Well, I guess tonight's not really prime time. It's only 515 my time. Um, but I'll be back on probably 715 ish tomorrow. Um, might go on a little early depending on, on how much I packaging I get done in the morning. Um, so hobby evolution tomorrow morning, seven to 715. And, um, I'll just kind of go over since I went over all this in this video. Um, don't need to talk about that and rehash it, but um, I will talk about uh, Brad's package. Wait, ooh, that didn't come out right. That did not come out right. Uh, I'll talk about uh, the cub cards that Brad sent me and I received today. So we'll talk about that. We won't talk about Brad's package. Uh, we'll talk about the cards he sent me. Um, so that's about all I have for, uh, for this one. So thanks so much for, for watching. Brad, hopefully uh, you get in touch with Brian. Awesome dude. Tell him I recommended you. Um, five stars all the way around. As you can see, it was, it was well worth it. Um, so good luck with that. Uh, <laughs> and on that note, Brad, that's all I've got. So, hey, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll we'll chat either on Twitter tonight or uh, we will uh, talk in the morning on Hobby Evolution. Thanks, and uh, have a good one.